<laughs> hey guys, uh, good evening. Uh, we have uh, Abhishek joining in today. Uh, Abhishek Srivastava is currently an artistic uh, director with uh, the dance company. That that is the name of the organization which uh, is into choreography and you know teaching dance. Uh, they they're working with a lot of corporates. Uh, they're lot working with a lot of uh, MNCs uh, in you know providing training, doing workshops, doing uh, events for them. And uh, yeah, we will let let's uh, let us have Abhishek talk more about uh, his particular company and his passion. So, how did you get into dance, and you know how did you get into the passion of uh, teaching dance to so many people? Um, I got into dance accidentally. So earlier in my school days, uh, I was not at all interested in dancing, mm-hmm. and uh, I was more interested into acting and you know having a theatre into acting, and uh, that. what i really wanted for my career but one day finally during the break hours i saw one of my teacher dancing and he was doing some mg moves okay and that was like the change of my life i i really got inspired with him uh, his name is naresh kumar mm-hmm. and uh, he inspired me and then i just wanted to learn those moves and then i asked him sir can you teach me this and then from there i got my interest into dancing nice yeah, can you move towards your left uh, towards your right a bit towards your right yes yeah. perfect yeah thank you abhishek so yeah. so that's how it started yeah that's how it started exactly mm. so uh, you know what what are your current projects and you know what are you really passionate about i i have one minute video of you uh, which i picked up from your uh, facebook so i will play that so after you tell me this particular answer so what what are your current projects right now uh um, we get like every day is a challenging day and mm. every day we learn something and move on right so uh we have come up with some online dance project we are working so it is the dance school the dance school india and which is starting from 3rd july itself okay. and uh, here we are having some really really amazing artists from like from bollywood as well as from the other countries and uh, we are putting them online and you know um are uh, sharing their knowledge with the students uh using this quarantine period and using the online technology just make taking the dance teaching on the like online um, on that level super very good initiative so friends uh, if you're not already connected with abhishek uh, shrivastava uh, here is a small clip of uh, how he performs and you know this is the recent one uh, which abhishek is also not aware maybe he will hear that after <laughs> he will know after he hears it so yeah here is a small clip i'll i'll just play a few seconds of that uh, before we get moving so here it is which town where were you born how was your childhood okay um i i born in devaria mm-hmm. and uh, after that uh, i brought up in delhi so okay. i'm in delhi from year 2000 because my parents migrated to delhi so uh, my studies and everything is from delhi and uh, that's it and then i started uh, i started learning so like uh, my first learning training was with anand kala kendra Mm-hmm. Uh, specifically my teacher name is devika anand so who was also the founder of anand kala kendra so from there i started learning from 2003 okay so and and then the journey uh, started of with performing arts hmm that's nice i think we had some technical issues earlier you know the voice after playing the video our voice did not broadcast well so that's the reason it was getting calls <laughs> but yeah okay. so yeah. now 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 yeah we're now, now we are okay yeah we are good okay. Okay, so we have some questions, rapid fire questions for you, Abhishek, because we want to right. know you well, your thought process, and how you're doing with this particular rapid fire question. All set, ready? Yep. Yeah, and you might have done these things in some of the events uh, which you do yep. with corporate, so it should be pretty easy for you. <laughs> okay, time freezes for everyone, but uh, for you, one day, what do you do? So it's like everybody is frozen, 
everybody is like you know like a statue you know we used to play these games statue games in the childhood right so exactly. if that happens what would you do um uh, i would just fly high to see the entire world that how it looks like when they are free good one like like the drone shots we had uh, of uh, exactly. uh, different yeah. cities uh, during pandemic okay right. what do you hope never changes the ultimate truth okay the ultimate truth what mystery do you wish you knew the answer for some mystery which happened in your life you wish you knew the answer for the life is the life itself is uh, full of mysteries um uh yeah there, there there were one of my friend uh who um there were who, uh, there were one of my friend who just stopped talking to me uh, all of sudden okay. and uh, still uh, still today also i feel that some day i could meet and i could ask what was the reason because mm-hmm. i don't know the reason what what happened and why it happened so that i would like to know. yeah some friends do that you know without informing they should at least give yeah. the reason why you know <laughs> What's the best way a person should spend t- their time today in this particular situation? Um can you can repeat once again? Yeah. What's the best way a person can spend their time you know during this pandemic? Okay, what's the best during this pandemic? Um yeah, the, this is I I feel this is a very good time to improve yourself. This is a very good time to improve yourself so you can work on your skills, mm-hmm. you can enhance yourself. so you know uh once this pandemic is getting over and uh, things are getting to normal you are sharp enough to move faster true very true i think that we have lot of time now we should be sharpening ourselves yes, exactly so abhishek when you get old okay you will not be as energetic as you are now right you you will yeah. still be dancing but you will not be make, you will not be able to climb the rocks and you know do those uh, mantras which you have done now So when you grow out uh, old and you know your children will ask you some stories so what will you what story would you tell them um uh my life life itself is full of up and down so uh, e- even i wish that you know uh, once i'll be really really famous one day mm. I, i i want that you know i'll ask some good director to you know make a movie on on my life story itself okay because i feel it is it, it has very uh, many um like variations mm. and uh, many emotions you know it goes up down and how the things are um, moving on so that there's a life story is a good story i i'll, I'll definitely share it with my kids okay so you tell tell one thing about a good you know your peak ups story one peak up story um okay so um like uh, even um okay so one peak ups i'll share um yeah uh it is about um yeah from year 2008 itself mm-hmm. from year 2008 um so before the year 2008 i was you know um like um mm-hmm. there were choices because i had to start working i had to start you know uh, supporting my family because my fi- uh, family financial conditions were not as good at okay. that time and uh, you know um like i had two choices i had two choices that you know either like start working with some um a uh, regular job with people do it uh, or move into the artistic artistic way and and my father really wanted me to you know uh not to go in this artistic field because he was you know that time he was assuming that you know this field is not good and the career is not good and you know what i'll do it is just wasting the time how most of the parents still think how most of the parents still think okay so uh, that time um my father told very clearly to me that if you want to do this all this uh, you know nachna and acting and all this thing that you know i am not going to support you any way 
Hmm. And uh, that was a very tough time, very difficult time. And um, I had the courage, or you say, I had the faith in myself or the wisdom. Uh, I told my father very clearly that, uh, Papa, I'm very sorry, but uh, I will go with this and I will do this. Yeah. So I mean, uh, that, to, that was a turning point. Yeah. You have, you have to come towards your right. My life. You have to come towards your right. Your video is cutting off. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It, it's it's and, quite uh, difficult to keep the was, dancer in one screen. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So please that go was ahead. a very tough time, very tough time, very difficult time. And uh, but that was the day I took the right decision. Um, and uh, today, my father is really proud of me uh, because by the God of grace, I'm doing good. And he's really proud of me. And he he himself, uh, you know, says many times that you know, it was good that you uh, you know uh, you were standing against and still you decided what you have to do. Yeah, good one. I, I think this is the story you can definitely talk to your kids yeah so uh, what's something that you will always be in fashion no matter you know how many years go and all that yeah that's dance that's, that's dance, dance. Um, that um, dance is the only thing with what I can connect uh. and throughout my life I'll stay connected to this one thing this is never going to be changed okay What's the spiciest thing you have eaten? Spiciest thing that I've eaten. Um, spiciest thing that that's uh, green chili only. Uh, once I had a uh, bet and uh, my teacher, Devika Anand, uh, mom, who was my uh, first teacher also, you know, in performing arts in theater, she was teaching. Mm -hmm. So we had some bet and like two of uh, the two friends were there and she asked us who can you know, have. And I had so many, I had at least. 18 to 20 chilies and that, that was the spiciest thing I ever wow. had. So that was a challenge, is it? Yeah, that, that was a challenge. Okay. <laughs> Good one. So uh, what what makes you cry the time moment, uh, you know, the moment you hear it, it, you know, it has tears in your eyes. What is that moment? Mm. Although I don't cry, <laughs> Although I don't cry, uh, but that emotional feeling comes, right? So, it comes when you listen to it. emotional feeling comes. Uh, that's um, yeah, that's very rare. That's very rare. But um, although you know, um, um, although I train my um, I train my mind, you know, in that way that um, everything in this world, what you see or what you do, is very very temporary. Hmm. Like nothing is permanent. What you have today will go one day, right? So, it's not fun, nahi padta hai in chidu, uh, ko, because things are changing. Rehti hai. Things are kept changing. Uh, but the uh, sabse zyada dard hota hai, you know, obviously with the people's emotion, uh, especially with the people with whom you get connected. Once you get connected, uh, you uh, you have some expectations. Uh, you start being a little possessive, mm -hmm. and um, then once because everyone needs to go. So once they go, you feel really really bad, and it hurts. Although that then, although this is reality that everyone needs to go, but once you get connected with the people, it, it hurts when they go. Yeah. So you still have to be in this screen, uh, Abhishek. You're you're moving towards. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Your next question. What is the most expensive thing you have broken? Gussa aata hoga na, and you know you would have broken some things. So. Uh, yeah, expensive thing is like my iPhone, I broke once. Okay. It was very much anger and I just um, banged the phone like this and the <laughs> whole screen and everything, camera, everything was broken. Mm, yeah, I know. I, I've broken a remote control once uh, of uh, a Sony music system, one of my favorite. And I never got that uh, remote control anywhere. So, <laughs> it's another one. Then I realized that, okay, you should not. Why? Why we did this? Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, you, you're like, you cannot, you're ready to spend money, you do not get the remote and every anywhere. So, you know, that was the, that made me realize that, ha, but so Okay. What's the most creative use of emojis you have ever seen? Creative use of emojis. Uh, frankly speaking, that uh, emojis, um, um, abhi bhi like many of my friends, I send some emojis uh, and I feel something else and they think something else and then explain that this emoji means this. 
so i could not <laughs> understand you know the actual expression of the emoji emoji till now till till dated i, I Yeah. I don't know. So soon we'll have a course for it. You know, there is a graduation PhD. You know, we'll have PhD or BCom and you know yeah. bachelors of emojis. So yeah, I know. Yeah, you know, some of the emojis are tricky and very very dangerous to use the wrong emoji at times. So uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> When was the last time you got to tell uh, someone? I told you so. किसी को किसी को बोला होगा मैंने बोला था ना तेरे को ऐसे ही होगा um i don't say people people say this to me maine bola tha na aisa hi hoga and i so it's reverse is it <laughs> so mostly on you yourself <laughs> so never you you had a chance where you told somebody i told you right as uh, recently in the year from uh, i don't think so i said to anybody that aise nahi bola maine in in last one or two years i'm i'm sure not before that i i, I don't remember okay so good most notorious thing you've done during your childhood uh during the childhood ek bar hum khel rahe the school mein hi but i i don't know this is life and uh, uh, students should not do this at all because this is very very bad okay so uh, just i'll share hum ek bar khel rahe the school mein was uh, After school, I mean, after school there was some break time with us, lunch time, and after that from four o'clock, like we were having a performing arts classes in the same premises. Mm. So, um, so school finished like two o'clock. School finishes and four o'clock. In between, there was a two hour gap. That was when usually we would play something. We were friends. So, like one of my friend was there, Jagan, and we were playing. And uh, after that, he was hiding somewhere. And then uh, me and one of my friends, Sonu. हमको एक वो फायर वाला डिवाइस दिखा वो फायर वाला डिवाइस था एंड वी जस्ट आई डोंट नो क्या है हमारे माइंड में दैट वी अनलॉक दैट फायर वाला डिवाइस एंड उसके अंदर पूरा जो वो सीओ टू पाउडर एंड सारा वाइट वाइट पाउडर होता है वी जस्ट स्प्रेड ऑन हिम ही वाज हाइडिंग एंड वी स्प्रेड ऑन हिम एंड ही वाज ऑल ओवर वाइट 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 एंड देन ही कंप्लेन टू टीचर एंड उसके बाद तो हमारी मतलब बैंड बजी जो बजी वो सो दैट वाज द मोस्ट Notorious. So this this was you you played with the fire extinguisher. Ah, oh, मतलब. <laughs> so ये याद रहेगा I think you know this is this is something. वो तो हाँ उसको भी याद रहेगा और हमें भी याद रहेगा there is never. Uh, so last question, what is the most ridiculous thing you have ever bought? खरीदने के बाद थोड़े दिनों के बाद this was like I wasted money on this. <laughs> Not the one you have broken something else no yeah <laughs> No? Okay. I'm not getting. Yeah. So we'll skip this question and last question. I'll replace it with something of your this thing. Yeah. Okay. What is the yeah. most favorite dance number which is happening now, which is really famous? Kids love it. Okay. The recent one. Yeah. Latest? Recent one. Recent, recent one? one. Recent one. अभी फिलहाल रिसेंट में तो तीन महीने से तो कोई सॉन्ग रिलीज नहीं हुआ है अभी सो तीन महीने से पहले का ही होगा वो फ्लॉस नो देयर वर देयर आर मेनी सॉन्ग्स सो आई एम जस्ट ट्राइंग टू रिकॉल इट्स लव इट शेप ऑफ यू इज गुड kids love that uh, taki taki is good they love dancing even on that um do you love me from do you love me is also from uh, a track which has very good beats for mm-hmm. jazz uh, it's love dancing on that yeah good good abhishek uh, so finally with this you know choreography your art of you know teaching kids and all that you know uh what would you do with your skills when you become the chief minister 
what are the areas you would focus on uh then i'll become the chief minister or the head i'll focus on okay uh like uh, this is a dream of my life and also the purpose of my life like if, if you ask what is the one thing which i want to do in this life before i die so that is like i want to make the biggest dance university of the world in india because in india there is no dance university as of now uh, when i see the you know uh, like us has many countries you know so they have courses like you know they are doing the masters in choreography mm. uh, but in india there is no such facilities still now so i i, I see that you know it can be a, a good opportunity for all the artists and performing uh, art people when they have the proper degree in the you know choreography they are doing the master they are doing the phd in you know choreography in the movement arts right so india is not providing right now so like i want to do that and if i become the chief minister then obviously because without government support as a nahi hoga because we need lot of uh, uh, thing for that so i'll get that approved cool <laughs> good one and yeah it is very much required because we are so glued to it jahan pe paise milte hain wahi bhag rahe hain sabhi you know we, we are not really looking at art and culture as much we you know give priority for uh, you know uh, revenue is driven um, but yeah now with covid we have realized that you know people should also have passion people should also dedicate time for some of these arts and uh, you know some of these com- uh, it sectors and all that can always go down i mean now now see you know exactly. you know there might recession come and a lot of things can happen but yeah passion should always go on so yeah good point so nice nice uh, meeting you abhishek good discussion uh, nice interaction uh, nice to know the notorious stuff you do with uh, fire extinguishers and stuff like that <laughs> yeah I, and you know i i see a lot of patience in you uh, you know by definition you know anybody who looks at you the way you answered and all that you know clearly shows that you have a lot of patience and and you are definitely in the right job of uh, you know training kids on choreography so do well uh, whatever you can do online and you know uh, until this pandemic uh, eases out inspiring kids uh do that you know if there are any crazy kid dancers and all that we have another channel called k12 tv so recommend that uh, we will play their uh, short clips to encourage them so whatever way we can spread positivity let's let's go ahead and do that and uh, all the best <laughs> okay thank you so much thank you so much yeah so friends uh, do join uh, abhishek we'll show we were sharing the social handles where abhishek is available so do follow him and encourage him with your likes and appreciations that is best we can do and it's always good to have uh, inspiring friends around us thank you have a great evening thank you okay,